Welcome to Cuddle Queen Jean. I'm Jean. And contrary to how maybe things look, I'm not feeling very good lately. And not, it's not physically, I'm feeling fine. I just feel meh, sort of angsty. And, you know, I say contrary because it's like, oh, it's beautiful colors and I'm wearing a little bit of makeup and my hair looks nice. And it's a reminder really that one can look really great on the outside and feel kind of crappy on the inside. So this, this video is um, my contrary action. It's about gratitude. And I'm not grateful for feeling kind of crappy, but it can be a good practice regularly to write down what's going well, write down what's what I'm grateful for, because uh, it can be a mood lifter. So I thought I would just share with you uh, some things I'm grateful for, and you're welcome to put some of yours below in the comments. And if you're feeling kind of meh, uh, you're not alone. So when I think about, oh, what can I feel grateful for? I can begin with the, my body, like, What's going well here? And one thing right away um, is that not everybody can um, sort of has strong nails, but I happen to. So that's something I can be grateful for is that if I wanted to, I can grow my nails. Um, but even so, they just are really, really strong. They do really well for me. And while I'm thinking about that, um, the last several times I've been to the dentist, I've had no cavities. So I do, I brush twice a day and I floss once a day. And there are many people who do all of that and still have troubles with their gums and with their teeth. And I do really well. And that is luck or, oops, oops, I'm gonna pause. So I just stopped the recording because a call came in and there was something I was hoping for and expecting that just happened that was really nice. I wish it was always like that. Do some gratitudes and something nice happens, uh, but it happened that way just now and I'm feeling um, better. I'll add to my list, I was talking about physical things, is unexpected good things. That does happen. It's happened in my life before. It can happen again, maybe today. I think it's fine to be grateful for small things. Like right here, this lovely scarf. I was looking for a scarf of this color and happened to find a batch of them and several of them were just right for me, like just the right colors for me. And, uh, and it's soft. It has all the things I would want in a scarf, like the right color, and it's soft, I think it looks nice. And just as I'm looking around the space here, <laughs> these flowers, carnations hold a lovely carnation scent, unlike any other smell in the world, and I find it very pleasant. I'm grateful for these two guys. I love that my bookshelf here is white so that I can see in such relief like this, these colors. I'm really into glass and colored glass specifically. Another thing that I can add to the list is that as I'm looking out the window here, there's a window yonder, the skies are blue. If I'm going to be in a hard mood or a difficult mood, if I have a choice between a dismal sky or a sky that I don't feel cheerful about, and a blue sky, which happens to be, I happen to like, I prefer it being a nice day. So I've got that going for me. So I'll finish up with wisdom. Over time, I've learned about myself that when I'm feeling sort of flat, less excited about things than usual, I could get worried like, or feel like it's gonna be forever. But typically, there's something changing on the inside, and, and it's not always comfortable. But I can trust that on the other end of it, that there's some kind of new growth, um, some kind of new idea, new direction emerges from the flat, maybe boring, 
can be sad, less comfortable periods of time. I look forward to hearing about your wisdom and the things you care to share down below in the comments. Thank you and be well.